Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Pals. I'm Sean, and this is my pal Daniel. And I don't know why I'm introducing us. Really, he's the mastermind behind this channel. But uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hi, hi guys. So, welcome to We Eulogies. Uh, this is a thing I decided to do earlier this week. Like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, uh, this is this is April 2016. Earlier this week... Uh, well, actually, it's May 2016. Well, it's May 2016 now, yes. Yeah. May 1st. Um, earlier this week, late April 2016, uh, Nintendo announced um they released their 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 earnings for their last fiscal year and basically their plans for the upcoming fiscal year fascinating stuff yeah actually it, it was a lot of like really interesting information um but uh one of the big things they sort of announced was like the nx is coming out uh march 2017 and uh, they're pretty much not making any more games for the Wii U leading up to that. Sweet. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting like we're getting like a few more releases in 2016. Zelda's been delayed to 2017, and uh, and like the last half of 2016 is just like basically e tumbleweeds. Uh, <laughs> One thing that's kind of interesting that I read is that this means that the Wii U will be the first. Um, main nintendo console that didn't have a dedicated, a zelda, dedicated game. zelda game yeah uh that's right <clears throat> so basically what we're gonna be doing um since basically uh the wii u is soon no longer going to be actively like there are no games going to be coming out for it they're not killing it but they're leaving it to die yeah pretty <laughs> pretty much like so basically in this last year of the wii u being an active console um uh, we decided to do this. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to uh, hopefully uh, basically be playing most of the Wii U's exclusive library um, in chronological order. So I keep nodding like any of you can see me. Like, like, oh, yes, 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 that sounds interesting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's the plan. And we're starting off with Nintendo Land. How yeah. many of you remember what the heck this... Are we making this family-friendly? Because <laughs> um, I almost swore. I, I'd i say... Oh. Uh, oh. The, my, the, the my, flat my, surface of your my, thighs. My, my pants are thighs. not a flat surface. Okay, there we go. Um, <clears throat> well, look at that. There's, there's weirdly um, porcelain Daniel. <laughs> That's more or less what he looks like in real life. More or less. It's pretty accurate, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't wear glasses as often as my me does. But you probably should. Yes. Um, I'm technically nearsighted, um, but it doesn't really affect my day-to-day -day life. I just need glasses <coughs> to drive. And uh, you ain't driving. Nope. Chicago. Yes. We, we get trains. It's great. Hi, Monita. So... We've already played, like, the first 30 seconds of this game. Up uh, to, to this point, Yeah, basically. up to this point to do, like, a test recording. So you missed Sean's initial reaction to seeing Monita for the very first time. Uh, you said something like... Oh, it, it's, uh, it's the sign that you run through to finish levels in Sonic the Hedgehog, but animatronic and horrifying. Yep. <laughs> which uh, I stand by to this day. <laughs> okay, hold the gamepad upright facing the TV. Thank you, Monita. The gamepad is actually pointing at my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sean. You're Monita now. Why do I have to do it three times? Whatever. Yep. All right. Whatever, Nintendo Land. Hi. Hi. Uh, it, it, things come in threes. Like, why, why couldn't Bowser be our park guide? It'd, it'd be way more interesting. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna run around this park. Use the gamepad to find Mario so I can kill him. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. But I can also so I can use the right stick, but also the gamepad's motion controls. <laughs> Okay. This is actually Splatoon uh, 0 0.5, <laughs> the beta version that sucked. So, this is me squinting, apparently. Well, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say it sucked, because we had, this is all that we've played of it. 
Yeah. But, uh, you know. Um, yeah, so the launch library for, uh, for the Wii U, like, I, I remember, like, thinking that it sucked when it first launched. And I'm like, wow, that's really disappointing. I'm not going to get a Wii U for another year. I would say uh, that that's true of, like, launch libraries, though. Yeah, like, um, in for the most part. doing research for this, I, uh, doing research for this, like, I looked, I had to look up, like, you know, the the Wii U release schedule in chronological order. And right. uh, I found out that the launch library, like, while no amazing games came out during that... F wow, Monita uh, thinks pretty highly of herself. Look at that. <laughs> uh, this is stuff. <laughs> if there's ever a pause between me saying one word and another words because I almost swore and then corrected myself. Apologies I, in advance. Yeah, I... I'm gonna say that swearing is probably. What if fine. tiny children are like, I want to look at the Wii U launch <laughs> uh, a game, Nintendo oh. Land. I love Nintendo Land. Oh no, he said shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've we've officially gone down this road. Uh, so I'm sorry, you were saying something though. You were talking about the launch library. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay. Hold on, let me just listen to Monita for a second. Yeah. Apologies in advance if you care about what Monita is saying because we sure don't. <laughs> Just say whatever we want. Uh. Oh, by the way, if you guys can guess, uh, this is our very first playthrough of Nintendo Land. We're going into this completely blind. Yes. I actually got this game for the purpose of the stream since. Since I'd otherwise, why would you buy it? Yeah. <laughs> Apologies to Nintendo Land fans. Maybe, maybe uh, you'll see Sean come around to this game over the course of the stream. It's entirely possible. I've come around to stupider games, probably. <laughs> what are stupid games I've liked? I liked the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban GBA game. Oh, you loved that. And it was bad. It was, like, <laughs> really bad, but I played, I 100%ed it. I collected every chocolate frog card, and it just sucked the whole time. <laughs> But I still enjoyed myself. Uh, so. When Shadow the Hedgehog first came oh out. Oh no, you fucker. <laughs> you had to bring that up. You what actually it? brought that up. <laughs> We're never going to play that on this uh, this thing. Anyway, when Shadow the Hedgehog first came out, I told Daniel that it was pretty solid. And then like he like played it or something and, and it wasn't solid. It was bad. It was, not. it was really bad. It was ass. The I final think... boss is like you, Dr. Robotnik's in a slot machine robot, and you're like <laughs> stopping the slots to damage him. It, it was really just, just terrible. Yeah. Uh, though, actually. You're like shooting a gun. Yeah. Driving around on a motorcycle or whatever. Um, yeah. Anyway. Though that was actually only one of the final bosses in Shadow of the Hedgehog. Like, it changed oh, depending right. on your alignment. Which, I forgot. You know... It had multiple endings, which, like, why? <laughs> Sonic like, game. Yeah, like, props to Shadow of the Hedgehog for doing that, but wow, they, like... Morality! <laughs> it's important that I'm the best, angriest Shadow I can be. Um, okay, yeah, anyway, so... it wasn't actually good. Just, <laughs> just play Sonic Adventure 2, guys and gals. Or a 2D Sonic. The 2D Sonics are great. Yes. I, I don't think Adventure 2 aged that well. Uh, it aged better than 1, actually. Yes. Um, anyway. Um, the, the reviews for it, like, they, they did like Sonic Adventure DX or whatever, where they re-released it for the GameCube. Mm -hmm. And they were like, this is so much worse than it was on the Dream... No, it's not. It's just It just is a bad game, and it seemed better then. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, we're off to a great start. <laughs> Our Nintendo... Uh, the series starts with <laughs> talking, talking about, about Sega. Sega. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, so what are we gonna do first, Daniel? Um, well, I'm gonna look at our options. So we got Legend of Zelda Battle Quest. Uh huh. Uh, Yoshi's Fruit Cart. Fascinating. Uh, a Pikmin game? Pikmin, Pikmin Adventure. Adventure. Tame the Wilderness. A are are the little men on the sign? Is that like how many people we should be playing this game with? Because spoiler oh. alert, that ain't happening. <laughs> we will have up to two players. Oh God. Uh, you know what I should have got? A controller? Like, yeah, like controllers <laughs> besides the gamepad. Well, let's just do the, you know, well, let's, let's do the one-player episode Yeah, let's, let's do single-player stuff. Um, yeah, so there are single-player games, um, and also, uh, multiplayer stuff. So, yeah, let's Important let's do this. question. Yeah, sure. What? Is the Luigi's Mansion minigame one-player? It's not. Shit. Yeah. Um, okay, I guess we're not doing that one yet. Hmm. So, 
Fun fact about my... I don't know if it's fun. Fact mm -hmm. about myself. Um, Luigi's Mansion is one of my favorite Nintendo IPs. I really like it. It's good. I just got some birthday money because my birthday was yesterday, and I'm considering getting Dark Moon with it finally. Because I've, like, wanted to get that for years. <laughs> I just <laughs> have never really been able to justify the purchase. If I do, I'll let you know how it is next time. Or Perfect. not, because that's Perfect. not what this is about. Balloon Trip Breeze. Oh, good. Balloon Fighter. I love this game. <laughs> you sound so sincere. Uh... It's actually a fine game. I'm just sick of how it's in like every Smash Brothers game five times somehow. That's fair. So it makes it makes sense to start with like one of like Nintendo's like big properties, but those are all like the Metroid ones multiplayer, right. the Mario ones multiplayer, the Zelda ones multiplayer. So we'll start with a smaller one. Let's see. Okay. Um, oh, there's the Donkey Kong one. Uh, you know, on the one hand, I'm glad we're not doing this with a camera. Um, but on the other hand, I just wish you could see how awkward it is for Daniel to look around with the touchpad. It, it's awkward. <laughs> it's, uh... Alright, Balloon Trip Breeze, let's do it. Okay. He's, like, twisting his entire body and... Oh, hey, my oh, mom nice. is there. <laughs> uh, fourth from the left, that's my mom. Yeah, so this this is me. <laughs> this is this is what I look like in me form. This is Sean. Yeah. My hair is actually a lot longer than it was when I made that me. But uh, I'm getting it cut maybe today, so uh, oh, nice. then it will be shorter. Um, this is our friend Tommy. Yes, he, he lived with us for a while. Uh, he's he's in Texas now. He's got he's got a girlfriend and stuff. He's doing pretty cool. He's doing pretty. He's good. doing pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's my mom. She yeah. lives in Florida and uh, stayed with us for like a week one time and just made a me for fun and then never played any games. <laughs> <laughs> She's still there. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Sean's mom. Um, and these are all default me's. Yeah, we didn't. We did not make a lot of me's on the system. That's I kind of like dark skinned middle guy. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's really intense. He's like Brock. <laughs> with open eyes. Yeah. I'll use my frying pan as a drying pan! Oh, man. Um, so... If none of you have ever watched... I don't know how you would have avoided it if you're my age. If none of you have ever watched the Pokemon animated series, you probably don't need to, but there's some hilarious stuff in there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, unintentionally. I, yeah, no, I, I, un I unironically enjoy the, the first season of, of the anime, like, a lot. Like... It hasn't aged great, but there's a lot of charm in there. A lot of ridiculous charm. What if when you're doing the multiplayer games, you need, like, Wii U game pads for the multiplayer? Because nope. this is like... Oh, okay, good. <laughs> nope. Uh, fun fact. Uh, there has been no game that uh, uses uh, multiple game pads, let alone requires them. Called they expansive. Yeah. How much is a gamepad? How much does that go for? Uh, a gamepad has never been sold separately from the console, so oh. we're not sure. But they... then how do you get... Well, I guess you don't need them because nobody's ever... Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> we better listen to the actual... <laughs> okay. Slide to make a breeze. Why Oof. on earth is this the mascot? <laughs> Hello, I'm extremely boring. <laughs> There's a whole host of Nintendo characters I could have been, but here I am. Monica, or whatever. What's my name? Monita. Monita. Monita, light of my life. I think her name's Monita. Either that or I'm remembering it wrong. Anyway. Ooh, okay. Ooh, whoop, whoop. Thanks. I, I actually made a game kind of like this in Game Maker when I was like 12. <laughs> um, where you were a hot air balloon and you had to like blow yourself in different directions to collect things and avoid planes. It took like five days and it was really mediocre. <laughs> okay. I don't want to fuck this black. <laughs> Just don't die. <clears throat> oh, like the new Star Fox. <laughs> this is how I got this idea, says Miyamoto. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Sometimes fun Miyamoto isn't good at ideas. <laughs> yeah, fun fact, I haven't got it in Star Fox Zero yet. Although, if this keeps going... Um, I guess I'm, we're going like, to have to. I guess I'll have to, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the reviews have been kind of like, boy, this is this would be great if the controls weren't just ass and required. <laughs> yes, and that, that always bugs me a lot. I, I hate when, like... 
when like obviously there is a conventional control scheme or something right, like that, that I could have worked. Yeah, it's like I don't mind if they try something new with the controls, but at least make the conventional version an option. Mm-hmm. Like, please at least do. Don't that. double down like yeah. an asshole. Right? You know? Yeah, Miyamoto, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the great game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you were being thank, that. Thank you for having Star Fox exist, <laughs> but I'm disappointed. Yes. You were being an asshole when you made Star Fox Zero. Maybe you're not an asshole all the time. But you are an asshole whenever you get your grubby paws on Paper Mario. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I, could, there, I could have a whole episode where I just complain about Sticker Star. But then you'd be like one of those angry gamer channels. Yeah. And that would be terrible. That would be actually worse than how bad Paper Mario is right now. <laughs> That's true. Um, though, uh... Like... I I don't like I know we're doing like a pretty comprehensive like oh, no, or at no, least no, I present. want to be pretty comprehensive about how much stuff we cover uh how many games we play like from Nintendo stable um but like I I don't want to get color splash when that comes <laughs> out I don't want it You know I'm digging the Yoshi's story aesthetic that this mini game has going on yeah. I wonder if that's like specifically for this or if that's going to be the whole thing uh, that's a good question. Like, um, what they do want to do for, basically, oh no, no I lost the your presents! <laughs> oh, and I was uh, so close to the end! That weird person there is going to be real disappointed that you can't celebrate her birthday. <laughs> I'm sure that's the, that's the plan. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. Well, she seems pretty happy anyway. Yeah. She's just glad I'm here. Like, I didn't actually need to bring a present. It's really lonely here in Yarn Land. <laughs> yeah, like, the aesthetic that Nintendo went for with this is a theme park aesthetic. Basically, like, this is this is a Nintendo theme park, and basically every, every game that you can play is an attraction. So, like... If this is what an actual Nintendo theme park would be like, I don't want to go. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll find out in... They just put Miyamoto in charge of making all the rides, and they oh, all suck no. somehow. <clears throat> oh, oh, gosh. That, that was, wow. The difficulty suddenly this ramped up intense. a bit. This is yeah. yeah. <laughs> you went from, like, swinging along and having a good time to bullet hell. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out, like, how Nintendo implements the theme park in, like, five years or less, maybe. Hmm. Uh, Universal... Studios. Oh yeah, uh, has has bought the rights to like make Nintendo theme parks. My guess is that they're gonna replace their Marvel stuff with it. That would suck, though. It would suck, but like I don't know. Like, isn't it crazy that Nintendo hasn't snatched Marvel from them yet? Like, that's true. Or did I mean, did like I say the, Nintendo? Is I know Disney? what you meant. Yeah. Disney, yeah, yeah. Isn't isn't that weird? I mean, yeah, that and that makes sense. But it would be too bad because the Spider-Man ride is my favorite thing at Islands of Adventure. Spider-Man ride is great. Although, I could honestly, like, everybody else can just go on roller coasters and do whatever they want. I will ride that ten times and then <laughs> leave the park. I just like, really like it. Yeah. Like, I think, I think I would say that them, like, getting rid of Marvel, which has some of their best stuff, would be a horrible mistake. Except they have Harry Potter now, and that is now the best part of the park. That's fair. That's a good point. Well, I mean, I'm assuming that's fair. Hey, it's me. Oh, hey, Sean. And it's me and Professor Snape. Who is that in there? <laughs> <laughs> Ten points to Gryffindor. Uh, I late, would never say boom. that. I would never. Ten points, say right? That. <laughs> I won't take ten points from Slytherin. <laughs> I mean, from Gryffindor. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> this, this. You have your mother's eyes. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> the, the tragic and completely accurate story. <laughs> <laughs> Just sleep in a nutshell. That's, have, you, have you not read the books? Well, that's all you need to know. Yeah, actually, I went to Harry Potter World for the very first time. Yeah, um, and apparently it was pretty cool. It was amazing. Uh, yeah, I went for my birthday. Um, I did the whole thing. Um, basically, they've spread out the Harry Potter attractions across both their parks. They have Islands of Adventure, and they have another park that's just Universal. Um, Universal Parks. And uh, they have a Harry Potter section in each one. So if you want to see all the Harry Potter stuff, you got to buy tickets for two parks. Uh, which I did do, and uh, and yeah, there's Hogsmeade in Islands of Adventure, which I went to first. Hogsmeade is awesome. Like 
I went there, I'm like, wow, this is really great. Like, they turned Harry Potter into a theme park. Um, and I bought way too much stuff. I got a wand at Ollivander's. I, uh, I got some, like, Irish food at Three Broomsticks. Oh, no. Oh, boy, this is getting harder. Um, Holy ah! shit! <laughs> what? What? Why are you suddenly harder to deal with? Oh, boy. You thought you were in Nintendo Land, but you're actually in, in hell. hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what to hogs mean? I liked that. I was like, cool, Harry Potter theme park. And then, uh, and then I went to Diagon Alley. Hey, Universal my mom Parks. and Tommy are living in a house together. <laughs> this game is weird. <laughs> Sean, we we have something to tell you. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I don't want Tommy to be my father-in-law. <laughs> that would be the weirdest. Anyway, I don't know. None of you who are watching have the context for how strange that would be. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're Trust like they, they're best friends. See, Tommy is his best friend. Oh dang, you're in there in the death triangle. Ooh. A diamond. That's a diamond. That's what shape that is. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a quasi diamond. Sometimes it's a triangle. Ah. Most of the time it's a that, diamond. Uh. Wow, these are aggressive little fuckers. Yeah, I think I'm... It's like you're like... You're, play, <laughs> you're playing like Yoshi's Touch and Go and Joust and Balloon uh, Fight simultaneously. <laughs> balloon point. Fight is basically Joust. That's kind of a redundant statement. Yeah, if Joust were shitty. <laughs> I I kind of like Balloon Fight. Like it's I don't know. Like it's it's, it's a it's, very simple game, obviously, because right. of the time it was released in. But uh, but you know, it's it's enjoyable for what it is. I think. What's funny is I I like I like Balloon Fight. I like you like you know floating around in arena on balloons. I like the Joust part of Balloon Fight. And whenever whenever people do. Whenever Nintendo's like, hey, you remember Balloon Fight? They always do the balloon trip part of the game. Right. Which, really, who wants to do that? Well, Nintendo does, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I I, I wouldn't be surprised if there are people that love Balloon Trip the most. I would all, actually almost say oh, that I mean, that's I'm the sure majority. there are, because look at Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why look at Smash Bros? Um, I don't know. I don't know why it was that specifically. It's just that... They really like Balloon Fight and Smash Bros, and I'm sick of it, so I just talk about it whenever I can, whether or not it makes sense. <laughs> Fair enough. But anyway. Did, did it bug you that uh, Villagers Up B is just Balloon? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it, really? You could have done so many other things in Animal Crossing, but he's Balloon Fight instead. Can we shut the fuck up about Balloon Fight for five seconds, please? And actually use stuff that's in the IP that the character came from? <laughs> Fair, fair points. Anyway, that's how I feel about Balloon Fight most of the time. But I guess the jousting is fine. <laughs> but I'd rather just play Joust. I have a nostalgic fondness for that game. I had like the I had like the Williams Arcade collection for Sega. Because back then when you made a compilation, really you only had enough memory to do like old ass arcade games and then Joust was on there and I played it a lot. Alright. Good news, you can't pop your own balloons. That's good. <laughs> I got curious. I'm like, <laughs> but we're we're fine. Great flying. Is Thanks. that the whole thing? Um, probably not. I've been flying for three days straight. <clears throat> I think that might be. Hey, yeah. there you go. I got a bronze trophy, which means I could. <clears throat> you could have done better. Than yeah. That. <laughs> oh, I got a stamp. Almost fish food. <laughs> Thanks. Three day journey. We extend oh. the length of the expedition to satisfy. Oh, okay. See, now you can play and go further. Okay. Hmm. Um, nice. I don't know if I really would want to do that if I were you, but uh, it's nice to have the option, I guess. Yeah, yeah. we're not we're not going back to this. <laughs> this FYI, we're not gonna we're not gonna play balloon fight adventures longer, whatever it was called. Oh, hey, Monita. Thanks. You can recognize the what does that mean? You've been recognized as a player for this fashion. <laughs> Here's a participation medal. Oh, there's a little star. Thanks. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, look at your little bow. I never yeah, noticed that before. I didn't notice that either. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Monita's as tired of being here as we are. Uh, as we are tired of Monita. I don't know. I'm, I'm still... I'm, I'm still down neutral to toward her. <laughs> that is a very specific currency, Monita. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> Touch, Touch my tower, the tower, baby. Please. Oh, I'm touch it now. Okay. Woo. Touch <laughs> my face. <laughs> Make me feel alive again. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's like a little. Oh, okay. Okay. So you have to play games to get coins to play games to get prizes. Gotcha. Okay. That's fine. Oh, it's it's basically just like shitty Mitomo drop. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. She set that up so I could get like a free thing. Oh, basically. Okay, right. Where's where's my prize? Oh no! <laughs> my head exploded and a prize came out. Oh, I see. And then I had to find it in the park. Yeah, that's cute. I guess that's fine. Yeah. You're being so enthusiastic, buddy. To have <laughs> okay. Ah, uh -huh. oh, you're gonna oh. save one. Wait. Uh -huh. Oh snap! Clutch shot. You're the best pachinko player ever. Oh wow! Oh, okay, that was actually nothing really but nibbles. <laughs> I'm... Holy cow. Oh! That was legitimately impressive. Kobe! <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright. I'm, I'm gonna... You got all six right. coins. Yeah. So I could... Oop. Well, uh... Well, you got something. Oh! oh. My, uh... I was playing Mitomo Drop the other day, and one of the Mies that I dropped actually just got, like, oh. stuck. Like, just got stuck and wouldn't go further down and just warped me back to the entrance and said, try again. Ha! It didn't make me waste a coin. Or even right. Like, oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's that's happened to me before, too. That was the first time, like, yesterday that happened to me. Happy uh, birthday. You are you suck at me, Tomo Drop. <laughs> uh, I didn't... I wasn't as lucky that time. As an aside, if you guys aren't playing me, Tomo, uh, you're missing out. Me, Tomo's fun. I like me, Tomo. You're it's... particularly missing out if you have other people who also have me, Tomo. If you don't, I guess it'd be kind of a lonely app. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, it's already kind of getting that way for me. Like, basically, like, uh, the only people I know that are really still playing me, Tomo, are you and my girlfriend. So, like, it's, <sighs> I, it's almost like playing it in a vacuum now. I've got a couple of friends on there who are still active, but a lot of them are not. <clears throat> Yeah, like that first week was like booming, and then this club was jumping, jumping. Such a button to play a song. Oh, oh, what? that's the prize. Oh, good balloon fighter. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm in hell now. <laughs> so you did that many of those, and you got one. Okay, yeah, you got one prize for doing that many. Uh, I. That's weird. Yeah. Maybe you have to clear, you have to, maybe you have to get all, no, because you cleared, like, two. No, I, I cleared one. Wait, cleared... what's the huge orb to your, uh, oh, those are just background decorations. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, I think, oh, uh, nope, nope, my eyes played tricks on me, that is not a block. Um, okay, the, yeah, I, th fuck, I think, guys? I think clearing the first thing gave me the jukebox, and clearing the second thing gave me the balloon fight song. Oh. I think that's what happened. We should never have done that. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> uh, that's going to be our first episode yes. of, uh, of We Eulogies. Um, we're we're going we're gonna to play every attraction in this game. Sweet. Um, and then we're going to play other games released during launch and keep doing the chronological order thing. Hope you guys like this. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> bye.